Right now, live coverage of the president's visit to Madison and his latest plan announced here today to deal with student loan debt. Also, after losing their son to a fatal asthma attack, how a local couple says a price change at the pharmacy may have led to his death. And the eclipse craze nationwide today that had so many sporting those special glasses to capture a special moment in the skies. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. I will never stop to deliver student debt relief on hardworking Americans, and it's only in the interest of America that we do it. And again, it's for the good of our economy. There you heard it, President Biden unveiling his latest effort to expand student loan relief in Madison today. The, the loan forgiveness would apply to people who have been paying undergrad loans for 20 years or more and applies to borrowers who can prove financial hardships, prevent them from repaying those loans. The president made that announcement from the Madison College campus, which is where we find our political reporter, Will Keneally, who joins us now with the very latest. Will. Well, as you mentioned, the president's announcement will target specific borrowers, and it actually comes after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down an earlier attempt to eliminate student debt. And the Supreme Court blocked us, but that didn't, well, that didn't stop us. The newest effort by the Biden administration will target student debt relief for specific borrowers. That includes those who have been paying back loans for more than 20 years, borrowers who owe more now than when they started due to interest, and students who were cheated. We plan to cancel debt for borrowers who the Department of Education determines were cheated by universities that left students on unaffordable loans and delivered little in benefits to students. This comes amid an election year where Wisconsin will be a key swing state for the Biden campaign to turn out. And those younger voters still dealing with debt are important for Democrats to turn out as well. During his speech, Biden made promises for what a possible second term might look like. And I've been pushing this, and if I'm reelected, I'm going to push it hard. We're going to get it done next time. Is I want to make community college tuition free. <laughs> so you won't need loans at all. Madison College President Jack Daniels says reducing some of those barriers for students can make a big difference. So I think it has a lot of potential. But I also know that, you know, through the processes that we have, it will be, it could be difficult. Now, after this Madison event, the president jetted down to Chicago for a fundraiser. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll have more coverage of the president's visit, including a breakdown from our own craft from work about what kind of impact this will have for Wisconsin students. Reporting from Madison College, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. All right, Will, thank you. With the president's most recent trip to the Badger State, make sure to stay up to date with the very latest information. Simply download our News 3 Now app. Just search Channel 3000 in your app store. Governor Evers today vetoing a Republican bill that would make it easier for minors to work in Wisconsin. The veto comes as Wisconsin is seeing a rise in teenagers working in hazardous and illegal jobs for their age. The proposal would not have changed state law governing how many hours minors can work. Governor Evers vetoed the bill at a meeting of the Wisconsin State Council of Machinists in Madison. Our kids should be focusing on being kids doing well in school, taking good care of themselves, growing up. They should be, uh, shouldn't be worrying about getting injured on the job or receiving a fair wage for their work or having their la labor taken advantage of. The bill that the governor vetoed would have removed the need for businesses to get a special license to employ 14 and 15 year olds, while also carving out exceptions to the state's hazardous labor laws for children. Live look at our sky cam of the Capitol. Cloudy, but uh, early, but a spring like day. The sun has really been brilliant for much of the day across southern Wisconsin. Temperatures in the 60s for much of the day. So if you like today, well, it looks like it's going to stay that way for a while, the spring-like forecast. Let's turn it over now to Alex Harrington, our chief meteorologist, and a look at your first warm forecast. Alex? Eric, yes, indeed. Spring-like temperatures are going to stick around for a long period of time. I don't see any of that wintry-like weather that we had just one week ago. Just look at these temperatures here over the next 10 days. Normals are 54 right now, 58 by the end of the 10-day period, and we're at or well above that. Our visible cloud track, interesting feature. Look at what happens right around 2 o'clock. Look at that. Suddenly the clouds go away, and that's because of the eclipse. Our clouds reflect sunlight, and when you have the eclipse there blocking that sun rays, making it to the surface, that's why we saw the clouds go away during that brief period of time, right around 2 o'clock. Thanks, Mike, for sending us this picture. I'm sure we got plenty more of those coming in of the eclipse this afternoon. 
Eric said mild temperatures. We got 60 out there in Madison, 63 in Middleton, where they had clouds, though. Viroqua, 52 degrees, 57 in Camp Douglas. Be hard pressed to see if folks up there, unfortunately, probably did not get a good viewing of the eclipse. Lows tonight in the lower 40s, so a good base to start off for a warm day on your Tuesday. And then we're going to track rain chances. You got the Rock River up there, upwards of flood, uh, flood warnings right now. So we'll keep an eye on those levels here or as we carry out over the course of the next couple of days because we do have rain chances in the forecast for your Thursday. How much rain are we talking and who gets it? I got that answer in a few minutes. All right, Alex, thank you. Next tonight, five people are dead after a crash in the town of West Point. It happened shortly before noon yesterday on Highway 60. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office has a car cross the center line and collided head on with a pickup truck. Four of the five people involved were pronounced dead at the scene. The other was taken to a hospital where he later died. The names of those who have passed away in this accident have not been released as families continue to be notified and an investigation is ongoing. Well, it should be very simple. Your doctor writes you a prescription. You take it to the pharmacy and pay a copay, depending on your health insurance. Well, but a mother and father in Poinette discovered there are many business decisions in between, and they tell our Armand Rahman it is costing lives, including their sons. Armand? Eric and Susan Cole Schmidtnick lost his life to an asthma attack in January, but his parents say he would probably still be here today if his pharmacy benefit manager didn't change the price of his daily asthma medication. They told me after he died, they pieced together that Optum RX changed what tier Advair Discus was in, causing the price to go from five to $539. Cole had no idea, and they say the pharmacist never offered him any alternative. They believe it's wrong that there's so many hoops between when a doctor gives you a prescription to when the pharmacist gives you medicine. My medical provider has determined medicine A is what yeah. I need, yeah. yeah, for my condition. So I should be able to go to the pharmacy of my choice and fill it at a reasonable cost. There's people every day that deal with what Cole dealt with. There's people that die from it. They're part of that social group. I also spoke with a professor emeritus at UW-Madison School of Pharmacy. He says while PBMs do send out notices that plans have changed, they're often buried or difficult to understand. And tonight at 6 only on News 3, find out what actions Bill and Shannon are taking to reform the PBM system and make sure no one else has to go through what their son did. Armand, thank you. 15 local agencies will receive a combined $41,000 in food grants made possible by the Tamar D. Grigsby Office of Equity and Inclusion. The partner in equity or pie program selected agencies based on proposals intended to address issues related to healthy food access access to land for growing food or issues related to food waste and recovery the grants fall into one of two categories small grants with applicants requesting two thousand dollars or less and large grants with applicants requesting between two and four thousand dollars the city of madison is looking for people ready to pick up paint brushes and paint part of state street as the 400 to 600 blocks of state street are set to be transformed into a pedestrian mall this summer the city wants to paint murals and other elements on and near the street Street. Four 20-foot circle murals will be painted between Gorham Street and Hawthorne Court. The city is also looking for volunteers to help paint more than 150 Madison-themed stencils. Volunteers can sign up for one of two painting shifts on April 21st from 10 to 1 or noon to 3 or sign up to volunteer for both shifts. If it rains that day, the backup day is Sunday, May 5th. That's when the event will take place. Those interested interested in helping paint State Street are asked to register for free ahead of time to ensure that there are enough supplies to go around. Well, millions of Americans got their eyeballs off the screens and fixed to the skies today to see the solar eclipse. Now, Jared Hill reports from New York, one of 15 states in the path of totality. A moment of awe as the solar eclipse cast darkness over daytime. The Southwest got the first glimpse. It got dark real quick and lightened up pretty neat. 31 million people live in the path of totality for this once-in-a-generation marvel where the moon blocks out the sun. Crowds at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway enjoyed the greatest spectacle in the sky. Even though we knew what to expect, what to expect it was just mind-blowing. In Russellville, Arkansas, more than 350 couples took the celestial cue and tied the knot, sealing it with an eclipse. It just seemed really fun and something unique. 
NASA estimated about 99% of people in the U.S. could see at least a partial eclipse, making this event the ultimate water cooler experience. Even scientists emphasize the social impact. It's far more about inspiration, awe, and joy for humanity. It's an event that just makes you feel a lot of things. The name of the viewing game today was cloud cover, with New England having the least of it, making for the best line of sight in America. For three or four minutes of peace and awe, it's the last total solar eclipse in the continental U.S. until 2044. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. Well, the solar eclipse also offers NASA scientists and other researchers a rare window to conduct experiments that could potentially lead to improved weather forecasting and also a better understanding of how solar events impact GPS. Well, just had Alex rejoins us. He's got a complete look at our first warned forecast. And the terrifying moments on board a Southwest Airlines flight that forced an emergency landing. We'll have the details coming up. And marginal changes and mixed results on Wall Street. The Dow falls 11, the NASDAQ adds 5. S&P 500 loses less than two, and we'll be right back. I won't shoot you. I want fresh air. Uh, hun. You need the experts. The Home Renewal Experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. Think Sloan's first. We've been with Sloan Implement since uh, uh, my father started farming, my grandfather started farming. They are a family business that's been around for generations, and that's very important to us. Think Sloan first now during deer season on a John Deere 1025R compact utility tractor. Your Sloan deal includes tractor, loader, plus a mower deck. Get 1.9% for 84 months. That's just $238 per month. Think Sloan's first. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. I'm Megan Tim. Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Ahead at 6, we're on campus at UW-Madison to catch the eclipse. Join us and hundreds of students for the solar event of a lifetime. Then local students react to President Biden's new student debt relief plan. That's tonight at 6. We warn you first. When winter made an April comeback, the first warn weather team kept you on top of the developing winter storm conditions. First with the information you need to be prepared. And stay safe. First warn weather. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Welcome back. With the weather warming up and farms starting to ramp back up to full production, the State Patrol is reminding us to be safe, patient, and uh, share the road when we're driving with farm vehicles that are on the roads now. According to the State Patrol, there have been more than 2,000 crashes involving farm vehicles in Wisconsin in the past five years. That includes 388 last year. Drivers should scan the road ahead and be ready to slow down.
down if you see a slow moving farm vehicle. It is against the law to pass any farm vehicle in a no passing zone. A Southwest Airlines flight was in the air just minutes yesterday before the pilot had to declare an emergency. Shortly after takeoff, passengers started seeing a part of that aircraft break away. Laura Aguirre brings us more on how the terrifying incident unfolded. Yeah. <laughs> not what you want to hear when you've just taken off in an airplane and not what you want to see. The cover flying off the engine. This was on a Southwest Airlines jet shortly after takeoff from Denver Sunday. It's only by the grace of God that he got the message. He was calm, kept everybody else calm, and we landed safely. High praise for the pilot who circled back to Denver safely for an emergency landing. Southwest apologized to passengers for the delay in a statement adding that safety is their highest priority and their maintenance teams are reviewing the aircraft. The FAA is also investigating how the engine's cover, called a cowling, came loose and hit the wing flap. There are three cowling latches that hold that cowling in place. So it appears that either one of those was not left latched properly or the mechanical piece itself failed. Aviation safety analyst David Susi says a part like that should undergo at least three visual checks pre-flight the first two conducted by ground crew maintenance. But the last line of defense is the pre-flight inspection. The pilot is supposed to do the walk around before each flight and check those latches. The investigation into the exact cause continues. The passengers aboard the Denver flight were all eventually rerouted to their destination of Houston with quite a story to tell. I mean, it was a little spicy, but we're all okay. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Well, that jet was a 737-800 series Boeing. The aircraft manufacturer has been, of course, under intense scrutiny over the safety concerns in recent months. Boeing declined comment here, but referred any inquiries to Southwest. Let's get a check on the weather now. Beautiful start to the work week. Sunny and mild. Great day to see the eclipse. Yes, yes, it worked out. It's a gorgeous day. It worked out for most of southern Wisconsin. We were tracking it all weekend. And first to let folks know that Madison points towards the south and towards the east stood the best chance of viewing that eclipse and that verified we're getting lots of pictures coming in channel 3000.com slash weather all right the three things you need to know an isolated shower tonight is a possibility mild on your tuesday even warmer for your wednesday and there's plenty of warm in the forecast too susan said picture perfect wow look at that sunny skies 60 degrees calm winds Think about a week ago when we had all those gusty winds, the snow, and the temperatures in the 30s. What progress we've made. 63 in Middleton, 64 in Verona, 65 right now. That's the warm spot in Edgerton. A little cooler to the north and towards the west. Boscobel, Lone Rock, Dells, north and west of there. Look at the temperatures hanging out only in the lower 50s. That's where the clouds set up today, and that's where they likely had poorer eclipse viewing. Just a stunning photo here, one of many that have been sent to Channel 3000. Thanks, Mike, for sending us this photo here in southern Wisconsin of the peak of the eclipse right, or, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, future track. A few showers north and west up towards Camp Douglas around 10 o'clock. Maybe an isolated sprinkle uh, down towards Janesville at 1230 in the morning, but most of us are going to stay dry tonight. We'll bottom out right around 42 degrees. That's pretty mild for this time of year. We're going all the way up with filtered sunshine, upper 50s to the lower 60s for a Tuesday afternoon. We had about a quarter of an inch of rain at the airport, about three tenths here at WISC TV studios. That means we're north of an inch, well, inch and a half for the month of April already. So that's good news to see as we continue to improve or at least try to improve and work our way out of drought conditions for the year approaching three inches above normal. So progress there too. And we've got rain in the forecast for your Thursday. Will be widespread for most of southern Wisconsin. Let's track that. We're going to have first to show you here Thursday afternoon, 1 o'clock, showers stretching from Camp Douglas down to Lone Rock to Mineral Point. But watch where those showers really eye up, just east of Camp Douglas, down to the Dells, down to Madison, Friends off to the west towards the Mississippi River, Prairie du Chien, Boscobel, Viroqua. You will need to probably be looking east for those showers, unfortunately. But we had a couple of days for that to change, so keep tuning in on that shower chance on your Friday. 
Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you how much rain in total we can expect from those showers. Shower tonight chance not very high, but it is there. Mild Tuesday and your Wednesday will be a rainy Thursday for much of southern Wisconsin in our bottom line. But there's more rain in the forecast and a lot of warm temperatures. Upper 60s, lower 70s by the time we get to your Sunday. And early to mid next week could be a bit on the unsettled side. Shower and thunderstorm chances. Not going to be shocked to see some severe weather with some of those shower and thunderstorm chances. And don't forget, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week each day. First Run Weather Team will be giving you a little bit of severe weather information. This is one of the most important. The statewide tornado drill is this Thursday, the 11th at 1.45 p.m. and then a second test at 6.45 p.m. I think those uh, those drills will take place. We're not expecting any severe weather at all on Thursday that might preclude or reschedule the statewide tornado drill. All right, traffic looks great. Eastbound, westbound, things are going at a good clip right at the speed limit. Swinging on down to Janesville. How are things doing? 70 mile per hour speed limit down in our Janesville friends area. And that's what folks are doing right now. And the same repeat up by the Dells. Gorgeous night to take a drive. You can even crack the windows open a bit. Alex, thank you. Just ahead, why a former Brewer shortstop is causing a bit of a rift with his neighbors. It's over this backyard project out in Arizona. The story next at five. Three now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Easily take on your outdoor cleaning projects with Master Force Pressure Washers. They have the power you need to make short work of any job. Pick up this 3,000 PSI pressure washer for $329.29 after rebate. The Master Force 80 volt self propel lawnmower is powerful, efficient, and hassle free. So you can spend less time working on your lawn and more time enjoying the results. Get one for $499.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. When we tell people it took 138 iterations to refine the Tiguan chassis, they say, oh, cool. But when we tell them it also took our engineers 189 pizzas, 22 birthdays, 4,005 miles commuted through 13 thunderstorms, 16 neglected haircuts, 52 all-nighters, and 19 nightmares about chassis, they usually go, oh, wow. The meticulously refined Tiguan. Hop in. It's a VW. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Tiguan during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. You've probably heard by now, but Wanaki Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanaki Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakiRemodeling.com for more. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward.
Welcome back. Build it and they will complain. <laughs> J.J. Hardy, the former Brewer retired player, is building a field of dreams in his yard. But a neighbor considers it more a field of nightmares. Jason Berry has the story out of Arizona. Right now, I'm standing in the backyard of a Chandler home where there's some serious construction going on on the other side of this wall. A former Major League ball player is looking to build a baseball field in his backyard, and some neighbors aren't happy about it. It's not something Pam Lang ever thought she'd have to worry about when she moved into this quiet East Valley community six years ago. I mean, everybody has a right to enjoy their own yard. Um, but this is something that is beyond what is reasonable, reasonable to expect your neighbors to tolerate. The Chandler mom reached out to Arizona's family to tell us about what's going on behind her house. A neighbor who happens to be former Major League shortstop J.J. Hardy is building a field of dreams in his backyard, a miniature ballpark for his family and friends. Trucks coming in and out. Lang tells us she had no idea the baseball field was being built until construction started a couple months ago, and she noticed the giant 20-foot poles going up. Looking at a big fence and lights every night is not something she wants to be subjected to. I did not sign up to live next to a baseball field. It's like a commercial. It's like living next to Top Golf, you know. Here's an overhead look at the property near Gilbert and Riggs Road that's creating the controversy. There is already a tennis court and putting green on site. Arizona's family has learned the former ball player's home is on a county island, while Lang's house is in the city of Chandler. There's an inherent unfairness to this, like an, an injustice, because he can do whatever he wants because it's a county island and I can't, I don't have a recourse because I'm bound by all these rules in this HOA. Lang has filed a complaint with Maricopa County and learned that her neighbor, who used to play for the Milwaukee Brewers and Baltimore Orioles, has yet to receive the necessary permits to build the ballpark. There are still height and distance requirements that need to be met, even on a county island. We reached out to the former major leaguer to talk about the field and neighbors' concerns, but a family member told us they have no comment. It's very um, disappointing and frustrating that all I can do is file a complaint and hope that somebody in the county feels like uh, listening to it. County officials tell me the former ball player has until April 22nd to get the proper permits to put up his fence and finish his field of dreams. Whether or not he gets the okay or not, we'll keep you posted. Interesting story. We'll continue to follow it and we'll get a final check of the forecast when we come back. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. When you're ready to get out and prep your yard for spring, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with a $100 purchase of Scott's products. Save $400 on this 42-inch Husqvarna Hydro Lawn Tractor. Plus, tackle any project with these men's Carhartt Steel Toe Boots, $74.99. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes and I did this to my father we were at home so we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you we were so excited in under 10 minutes they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines and not only does it work on the bags it works on the appearance of crow's feet fine lines and wrinkles at our $14.95 price it's the best way to try plexiderm and see it work after your first application your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen 
Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. From Scott the Window Guy at AHT Wisconsin Window. I'm Scott the Window Guy from AHT Wisconsin Windows. Our solid core composite frame triple pane window is the most energy efficient window made for Wisconsin no matter what the season. Buy seven windows by the end of the month and get the eighth free at scottthewindowguy.com. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit stoughtonhealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Well, goodbye dating apps. Hello, speed dating. Many people ditching dating apps in favor of meeting people in person. According to Eventbrite, speed dating has surged in popularity over just the past three years. This comes as many singles, particularly Gen Z and millennials, have grown tired of dating apps. Experts say it's a great option for those who make a better impression in person than they do online. And since dating requires more money and effort now, experts say those who try it are more likely to take it seriously. So notice it coincided with the pandemic. So people <laughs> right, that's true. want to be together. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Again. Final check of the forecast. Looking pretty good. Beautiful out there today. Beautiful day today. 60 degree weather today from much of the area 60 degree weather are pretty close to that on your Tuesday few clouds out there then the shower chances will track those on Thursday at six o'clock join us in a few minutes I'll show just how much rain we can expect with that weather system and it will stay unsettled once we get past the weekend look at the temperatures though this weekend upper 60s lower 70s get your shorts out open the windows and then next week, stay in warm, but it's going to be unsettled next week. We could have some severe weather next week, but we'll be first to warn folks on those chances. As long as we don't have any more snow. Don't jinx us. We've had enough of that. All right, we're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.